Avalanche continues to be one of the most innovative vehicles in the North American market. Combining the qualities of a pickup, the utility of an SUV, and comfort and convenience features that are among the best in the entire light truck and SUV market, the Avalanche sets a benchmark that is yet to be matched by any competitor. Avalanche is offered in three trim levels, LS, LT in 1LT and 2LT equipment groups, and the high-end LTZ for 2009. A new luxury package contains most of the former 3LT equipment group features. In this program, we'll compare the Avalanche LTZ to the new Ford F-150 Super Crew with the up-level Lariat trim. Both featured models are four-wheel drive. In addition to providing key product comparisons for the two vehicles, we'll also use this icon throughout the video to highlight advantages of the 2009 Avalanche LTZ over the F-150 Lariat Super Crew. Both the Avalanche LTZ and F-150 Lariat Super Crew are equipped with V8 engines as standard equipment. Avalanche LTZ's is the Flex Fuel Vortec 5.3 liter with active fuel management. This iron block engine has an output of 310 horsepower and 335 pound-feet of torque in four-wheel drive configuration. The engine used in the 2009 F-150 Lariat Super Crew is an updated flex fuel version of the 5.4 liter Triton V8 that has been around for several years. The Triton features Ford's three valve per cylinder technology and has an optimized output of 320 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. For those who need more power and capability, Avalanche LTZ can be equipped with a six liter Vortec Output on this engine is 366 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. This aluminum block engine features both variable valve timing and active fuel management for efficiency. Ford offers no optional engine on the Lariat crew. Both trucks use new six-speed automatic transmissions to optimize both performance and fuel economy. But Avalanche LTZ comes with the G80 automatic locking rear differential as standard equipment, providing instantaneous traction to both rear wheels when road conditions warrant it. The sole F-150 that has locking rear differential is the FX4. The Super Crew Lariat has a limited slip. Finally, a head-to-head -head towing comparison of the four-wheel drive Avalanche LTZ and the four-wheel drive F-150 Lariat Super Crew reveals that the F-150 has the edge with a maximum rating of 11,200 pounds versus the Avalanche's 7,900. In the truck market, a smooth ride and good handling must be accompanied with practical capabilities. Ford is touting an all-new F-150 chassis, which is fully boxed with high-performed, high-strength steel side rails and cross members that pass through the frame. Avalanche is also built on a fully boxed frame with high-performed rails, so it's really a case of Ford catching up to Chevy. Both Avalanche and the F-150 Lariat employ similar independent double wishbone coil over shock style front suspensions. Avalanche adds a stabilizer bar to help in cornering stability, something that the new Ford lacks. On the rear, the Avalanche has a five-link suspension riding on coil springs. Ford takes a different approach with a Hotchkiss-designed semi-floating rear axle with more traditional leaf springs. Ford offers nothing like Avalanche LTZ's standard auto ride suspension, which automatically controls shock damping on a continuous, real-time basis for the ultimate smooth ride experience. Auto ride also includes rear air assisted load leveling and automatic air level control. Both vehicles include state-of-the-art chassis control and braking systems with four-wheel disc brakes with ABS standard stability control systems with rollover avoidance and traction control. Both also offer integrated trailer brake controllers. The new Ford does include standard trailer sway control as well. Both featured vehicles use part-time electronically controlled four-wheel drive systems, which require the driver to actuate the four- or two-wheel drive mode. 
Chevy's AutoTrack is more advanced than the Ford system in that this system can sense wheel slippage at the rear wheels and automatically transfer torque to the front wheels. Finally, Avalanche LTZ has a distinct advantage over the F-150 Lariat with 40-inch polished aluminum wheels fitted with all-season tires. The F-150 Super Crew with the Lariat package comes standard with 18-inch bright chrome aluminum wheels. In this segment, utility and versatility are nearly synonymous with convenience, and both the Avalanche and new F-150 Super Crew offer unique features. Ford is focused on adding several new F-150 bed features, including an integrated tailgate step and box side steps, along with available features like power running boards and an adjustable cargo management system. Avalanche LTZ also offers a standard integrated lighted and locking top storage box and optional power running boards. And Avalanche, due to its innovative mid-gate, gives consumers something that Ford's Super Crew can't begin to match, a full-size truck bed. Avalanche is the only vehicle that can go from an SUV to a full-size pickup with an 8-foot, 2-inch cargo bed. F-150 Lariat Super Crew is available only in 5.5 or 6.5 foot bed lengths. Also, Avalanche has a standard three-piece rigid tonneau cover to protect cargo. Super Crew has nothing like that. Ford has updated the exterior look of the new F-150 with a signature three-bar front grille with headlamps that wrap into the fenders. Laramie, along with King Ranch and Platinum trims, includes a mesh insert in the grille. Avalanche features a handsome full-wrap fascia and integral grille with Chevy bow tie, along with aerodynamic headlamps that flow into the front fenders. Outside mirrors are very important in this segment, particularly when towing. Avalanche LTZ is equipped with true full-feature outside mirrors. Not only are they heated and feature integrated turn signals and auto-dimming on the driver's side like the Lariat, they also power fold, curb tilt in reverse, and include ground illumination. Avalanche LTZ also has standard RainSense windshield wipers, something that is only available on the new platinum trim of the F-150. Both Avalanche LTZ and F-150 Lariat are outfitted with upscale interiors with standard leather-appointed front seats, dual-zone automatic climate control, leather-wrapped steering wheels with mounted controls, and auto-dimming inside rear-view mirrors. Both front seats include heat. Avalanche LTZ's front seats are also cooled. Not so with the Lariat. Cooled seats are offered on the King Ranch and Platinum only. Avalanche's front seats also have 12-way power adjustment for both driver and front passenger, including four-way power lumbar with memory. Ford seats also include standard power adjustment, although only 10 ways. Options that are offered on both vehicles include rear view camera systems, power sunroofs, and navigation systems. But Avalanche LTZ also makes rear parking assist available and power adjusting pedals standard. Again, these features are only offered on the King Ranch and Platinum trim levels of the Ford. A remote vehicle starter system is also standard, something not offered on F-150 Lariat. And the Driver Information Center goes beyond Ford's Message Center to help owners keep track of key vehicle systems. Audio and entertainment systems are state-of-the-art on both vehicles. Both standard audio systems include an AM-FM stereo, but Avalanche includes a standard MP3-compatible six-disc CD changer. Only a single CD that is not MP3-capable is standard on Lariat. Avalanche includes standard satellite radio with XM nav traffic available on LTZ equipped with a navigation system. F-150 Lariat offers satellite radio as an option. A 10-speaker Bose speaker system is standard on Avalanche. The Sony system that includes MP3 capability and a 6-disc CD is optional on the Lariat. A rear seat DVD entertainment system is also available on the Avalanche, something not offered on the Lariat. Both vehicles offer hands-free calling via Bluetooth. With Ford, it is part of the standard sync package, which also uses Bluetooth technology to interface with digital music players for hands-free operation. Ford has paid special attention to work applications in the redesign of the F-150, 
adding two inches to the center console so that it can accommodate laptops and files. In fact, Ford claims that there are 30 storage areas inside the cabin. Of course, Avalanche has storage bins, map pockets, and cubbies too. And nothing Ford offers quite compares to the impressive versatility afforded by the mid-gate and locking tonneau cover. One important area to note, however, Ford is also making something they call Ford Work Solutions available. There is a system with an in-dash computer that can be equipped with a wireless printer, tool link, which tracks tools that are labeled, cable lock, which consists of a physical cable to secure tools in the truck bed, and crew chief, which tracks other trucks in a fleet. Ford is promoting this heavily, although only the cable lock system is available on Lariat. Both Chevrolet and Ford make strong commitments to owners to produce vehicles of high quality, reliability, and durability. With the redesigned F-150, Ford is highlighting their testing of the vehicle, new frame technologies, and manufacturing processes. Many of these touted features have long been a part of the Avalanche, including a fully boxed frame and hydroforming. But Ford is not backing the new F-150 with the same vigor as GM and Chevy. Both Avalanche and F-150 have a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty for three years or 36,000 miles. Avalanche, however, carries GM's five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Ford is sticking with a five-year, 60,000-mile policy. For corrosion protection, Avalanche again has the edge with six years or 100,000 miles, while F-150 offers five years with unlimited mileage. Both manufacturers offer roadside assistance, but Ford's is only five years or 60,000 miles, not the more substantial five years or 100,000 miles from GM. Also, GM provides courtesy transportation at participating dealers when warranty repair is required, a convenience not offered by Ford. It is clear that Ford is mimicking GM's OnStar with a couple of new offerings on the 2009 F-150. Included in Sync version 2.0 are two new features, 911 Assist and Vehicle Health Report. 911 Assist calls local 911 in the event of an airbag deployment. Vehicle Health Report, or VHR, is Ford's answer to OnStar Vehicle Diagnostics. Like with OnStar, systems diagnostics are automatically sent to owners via email or text message on a monthly basis. The key difference is that unlike OnStar, the Ford Sync system has no embedded cellular connection in the vehicle. All Sync technologies rely on the user's own devices. If the owner does not have a cell phone with them in the car and an airbag deploys, there is no call made. And of course, all the other services of OnStar are non-existent. Chevrolet designs and builds vehicles with an eye toward continuous safety. Every vehicle has many designed in features that help protect vehicle occupants before, during and after a collision. Avalanche and F-150 begin with a host of standard features that help keep occupants safe. Safety cage construction, dual stage frontal impact airbags, front passenger sensing system for the front outboard seat, Head curtain side impact airbags that cover both rows, three-point safety belts on all outboard seating positions on the Super Crew and the Avalanche when equipped with front bucket seats, and the latch child safety seat retention system. The new F-150 also includes standard front seat mounted side impact airbags. To help drivers avoid a collision, both vehicles have four-wheel disc brakes and ABS and stability control systems with rollover protection. But Chevy goes a step further with standard daytime running lamps, which help other drivers see the avalanche. They aren't offered on the Ford. And even though Ford has added 911 assist to its sync system, it is no match for the full range of services offered by OnStar. Remember that the sync system's 911 assist only works with a cell phone that is in the car. There is no built-in cellular connection like with OnStar and 911 Assist only alerts a local emergency service if an airbag deploys. 
OnStar now includes not only airbag deployment response, but automatic crash notification, which automatically contacts a caring OnStar advisor in the event of a crash without airbag deployment. Plus, OnStar's array of services includes valuable ones like stolen vehicle locator and remote unlocking. The standard year of directions and connection service on Avalanche LTZ adds even more, including turn-by-turn -turn navigation, the simplest hands-free navigation system available. You can't get that on F-150 or any Ford. The bottom line? Avalanche, with its industry-exclusive mid-gate, offers the overall advantage of being two vehicles in one and boasts many specific wins against the new Ford F-150 Supercrew Lariat. Avalanche LTZ offers two major power and performance advantages. The availability of the 366 horsepower 6-liter Vortec V8 and the standard G80 automatic locking rear differential. Ford offers no optional engine on the Lariat and no option for an auto locker either. In the ride and handling arena, Avalanche LTZ's independent front suspension includes a stabilizer bar for better handling and flatter cornering. F-150 Lariat does not. And LTZ's auto ride suspension with its real-time shock damping, rear load leveling and auto air level control provides a smooth ride that is totally unmatched by Ford. Factor in Auto Track, which is more advanced and responsive four wheel drive system than Ford's Control Track and standard 20 inch wheels and tires, and it's clear that Avalanche drives rings around the new F 150. Avalanche LTZ racks up wins in versatility with its industry exclusive mid gate and standard rigid tonneau cover. Avalanche also includes full feature outside rear view mirrors that include power fold curb tilt in reverse, and ground illumination. Standards on Avalanche LTZ that are not available on F-150 Lariat include rain-sense windshield wipers, cooled front seats that adjust 12 waves, power adjusting pedals, and the remote vehicle starter system. Avalanche LTZ offers much more in the entertainment arena too, with a standard MP3 compatible six disc CD changer, standard Bose premium speakers, and standard satellite radio. All are options on the Lariat. An Avalanche LTZ's available rear seat DVD entertainment system isn't offered on any F-150. Finally, a rear parking assist system is available on Avalanche LTZ and not offered on the F-150 Lariat. In quality, reliability, and durability, the biggest story is warranty. Avalanche LTZ's five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, as well as roadside assistance and courtesy transportation coverage, significantly beats F-150's five-year, 60,000-mile warranty without courtesy transportation. And in the area of safety and security, nothing compares with GM's OnStar and its wide range of features. It's a standard feature on the Avalanche LTZ and includes turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and directions and connections. And even though Ford has mimicked OnStar's airbag deployment response service with its 911 assist, the service only works when a cell phone is in the car. OnStar includes an integrated cellular connection in the Avalanche itself. And don't forget Avalanche LTZ's thoughtful daytime running lamps, another feature the F-150 Lariat lacks. Avalanche continues to offer one-of-a-kind versatility and unique features that the latest effort from Ford just can't match. <laughs>